Hi there, grade four or fives, Miss Mazzola here. Uh, I wanted to do a little video today about how to utilize our online website in case some of you are still having some difficulty or in case there's any confusion that hopefully we can clear up, okay? Some people are asking me if I'm working from school or if I'm working from home, from working from my room or from the kitchen. Uh, I actually created a little space for myself in the basement. So that is where I am working from. Uh, okay, so I have this set up here so you can see how I'm doing this. So, you go onto our website. On the front, there's some information, which I can probably update now that we've been using it for a little bit. So maybe I'll do that. Home Fun, you know, is where you can find all your work. Gym and Music. So this is where you'll find your work and tasks from Mr. Tunzi and from Mr. Longo. I put whatever they give me on here. So you'll be doing something for gym and health once a week and you'll be doing something for music once a week. Our week report is where you can find um, what I've marked of yours from last week. So if you just highlight this link and then you right click on your mouse or right click it should say go to on the website. You could just push go to. And hopefully your computer is a little faster than mine. And it will load. So this was from the first week. You can see from the dates uh, at the top. So that's starting with um, Monday, April 6th. And maybe I'll just put the months and the weeks at the top here to help you out so it's a little bit easier. So that was our first week. You can scroll down. Again, hopefully your computer is a little faster than mine. You scroll down and then you can see week two. So this was last week. You can tell by the dates. Uh, anything with bullets is what I received and have looked at. Okay, anything that's blank um, was just incomplete, uh, but you cannot go back and redo it, okay? So if you want to, that is great and encouraged, but I will not be going back um, in the past weeks to see what has been done and update this. Um, so you'll see week one champs, week two champs, and each week I will put, um, who has really, um, been putting in a great effort and who's completed most of their tasks or all of them. Uh, student resources. This is where you will find all your passwords and login information. There's also some extra websites down here that you do not need, um, an account for. You do not need to pay for. They're free and they're fun. So in case you're looking for something to do, you can always go to student resources. The contact me page, I just updated it briefly. Um, so you can contact me at any time uh, on here. However, if you need me to reply, so if you're asking a question, you need to um, put an email address that I can reply to. Because when you, when you write something on here, it just comes to me with your name but I have no way of responding. So just provide an email address you'd like me to email back, uh, or you could just say, send me a message on Dojo. Okay, that would be great. Or you can send me an email directly here. So if you have an email or if your parents have an email that they wanna send, it can go here, okay? Uh, for families, this is just resources that I've um, either been told by from our school community uh, or things I've heard on the news that is a resource to help families right now in this time of need. Um, Okay, so going back to home fun, we are gonna go down. So as you can see, the dates get smaller. After that week has passed, I just make all of the font really small, just because we're past that now, okay? But I still leave it there so that you can see if there's something you still wanna do, you can go back to. All right, so now we're into the week of Monday, April 20th. You can see the dates are nice and big. Um, Tuesday. Wednesday, okay, let's do Wednesday as an example because you had three tasks yesterday on Wednesday. So, you put my name. And I'm gonna write my answers here. So, I would write task 22. I can write one and then I'll just write test, oops, test two. I'll write test three, test. Okay, task 23, let's just make this really fast, test 
Number two, oops. Test three, test. Okay, and then task 24, test, test, test. Just because I want you to be able to see how it comes through to me. So um, you can hit submit and then right away, what will happen is that I get a little um, notification on my phone to tell me that I've just received a response. So then I can click on it and this is how it shows up, okay? So we'll see how it's nicely spaced out here. I can check it that way, or I go on my version of the website, which is on sort of the back end, um, meaning this is where I upload things it's for you to see and where I fix the website. And I go down to that specific day that I'm marking, so Wednesday, and I look here and I click on it and I wrote view entries. And look, at I can see all your names here. And this is how it shows up. Okay, so not nice and spaced out the way that it is um, on my email. So it does help when you leave nice spaces instead of just putting all your tasks together into one big paragraph. Um, but that's how it um, shows up. So some people have been saying if they are writing, they feel like they lose their work and then they can't get back. So look at. I've already responded to Wednesday. So it says, thank you, grade four or five. So proud of my class, Miss Mazzola. That doesn't mean that I cannot respond to any of Wednesday's work again. All I have to do is this, go to the top of the website, hit enter to refresh it. I'll just go back to the Website again, go to Home Fun, go down, and there it is. Okay, so you just refresh the, the website page and it'll be back there. So if you only want to do task 22, um, and then task 23, and then refresh, and then do task 24, that's totally fine. Alternatively, what you can do is write it on a separate screen. So if you have um, something on your computer, like most computers have, um, notepad, okay? You can write all your stuff here. And then you can copy and paste it when you're all done so you don't feel like you lose your work. Okay, so that's another option for you to do. Hopefully this helps um, clarify some things. Uh, again, if you have any questions, you can let me know. And I'll try to turn the screen around so that you can see. Hopefully you can. Nice to see everyone. Uh, good luck on your math quiz today and um, continue doing really good work. I talked to other teachers at Epiphany and other teacher friends of mine and I can honestly say uh, that you guys have been doing the best job and I'm so, so proud of you. So keep it up. Bye, guys.